fried rice, okay? Remember, we only fry the chicken in there with no oil, which is optional. Beans you can do without. Oh, look at that. Oh. Hey again, to Kenny's house, we're cooking with the salad master. So, for today, we're going to make something quite nice with you, and it's going. Okay, here we go, the ingredients, we've got some mushroom, we've got ginger garlic, three cloves, we've got three onions, we've got some seasoning for the vegetables, curry, thyme, oregano, that one I like to use, it's optional, we've got soy sauce, and a bit of a different curry as well, um, we got peas and corn in there, we've got the carrots and the beans there, we've got pepper and all proper seasoning, and obviously we'll be using the salad master, bad boy so we're just going to start frying the chicken now look at that we're frying the chicken with absolutely no oil you can see that just preheating the bad boy on 230 to get it warm and then we will start our frying so come on then and look. okay so there we go yeah we've got our chicken just frying the chicken with absolutely no oil and you can season your chicken as well my kids they like to season their chicken but when you season it, bear in mind you don't have to leave it on 230. If you season it, put it on a low, a lower heat, so maybe about 180 if it's got any seasoning on it. Okay, but I just want to be really fast. So there we go. You can see the bottom of the pan is frying with absolutely no oil. Okay. So I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of seasoning, all of the seasoning on it. And you can marinate it first before you do this, okay? So I'm going to use this. Right, so you, there we go, put some all the buses and put the lid on, fully closed, okay? And then here's the temperature, put it on 200, between 180 to 200 if you've got seasoning. And then I'm going to set the time for just about 10 minutes. There we go. Afterwards, I'm going to flip it to the other side. Right, so I'm going to use this corn four. The numbers are all at the bottom. I'm going to use corn four to cut the mushroom as well as the onions, okay? And there we go. So just get your mushroom and place it just on there, just like that. Wow, look at that. And it's so quick and easy. Remember the finger guard? You can pop it up there. You the finger guard. There we go. And you can finish up there. So. And this is one of my favorite mushrooms, just put it in there and you finish it there. There we go. So look at that, all nicely sliced for us. My white onions and my red onions using the same form. You can place it that way or you can place it this way. So it's all up to you. So look at that. You can see how quick it cuts the onions. Remember your finger guard, pop it in there. Same thing with the red one. There we go. You've got a little piece remaining, pop it in your finger guard. And there you finish up. And the last one, I'm just going to fry them all together after the chicken. So that's why I'm getting them ready. So look at that. There we go. Ooh, so there we go. So here is our chicken all nicely frying in there. Remember with absolutely no oil. And now you can see how much oil is generated. Okay, so I'm gonna show that it's ready. And look at the oil in there. So I'm just gonna flip this to the other side. And um, using my philomastic spatula, just flip it to the other side just like that. There we go. You can see no burning and it's generating the oil from the chicken using it to fry itself. Okay. I remember like I said, you can marinate it before you start your frying if you want to. What you're seeing in there is some of the seasoning that I spilled while I'm trying to get that in. But look at that, some of you say it fries like KFC chicken. Okay, so there we go. So the next thing is just to put the lid on and fry for another 10 minutes. Okay, you can leave it a bit cracked just like that. 
like if you want it crispy, but if you want it a bit moist and crispy, you can put it fully clean. I'm going to cut some of the carrots here. You can see I've cut some, chopping them up, and I'm using corn too because I want some of them a bit longer to serve like my sprout. So there we go. Look at that. And you can see how um, nice it's coming out. It looks a bit like chips. Yeah, a bit like sling chips. That's what it looks like actually. So show what I've got in here. Look at that. So it comes out really nice. And that we finish with that one. I think I might just cut it. I might be fine with that. Yeah, don't want to cut it in here. So there we go. This is all done for you. Right, so I'm going to use scone 1 to cut my ginger and my garlic, which is that one, the smallest scone book salad master has got. Just place it there and then there we go. Oh, you can put them inside there, your finger guys. So whichever one that suits you. But look at that. That's how it cuts it, really tiny. But I'm just going to pop every single thing in the um, finger guard. Yes, support. So our chicken is ready now. So I'm just going to get the chicken out now. I'm going to, look at that chicken. It's nicely fried in there with absolutely no oil. Okay. So here we go. You can see very crispy. Look at that. It's crispy. It's crispy. Okay, very crispy. <laughs> very crispy. <laughs> crispy. Okay, look at that. All nicely fried with no oil. In and out, looking very crispy. Okay, crispy. Is that correct? <laughs> oh my god. Right, so that's what Salad Master can do for you. Look at that. Yeah, because I need to be quick. So, look at that. All nicely fried. What are you doing? in there oh nicely fried you can see that okay so now that's the onions I'm going to fry the mushroom and the um, onions together that's the chicken all already fried in there so here's our mushroom you can see that frying using the same salad master pot which is the bad bowl okay the same salad master pot I'm just going to give it a little stir and allow it to fry for a little while so I'm just gonna fry this mushroom with the onions for just about um, roughly for about three minutes three to five minutes depending on the size okay and then at this point you can add a little bit of seasoning when it's fried for about two minutes just if you want it to have a little bit more taste Otherwise, you can do that afterwards when you've added all the vegetables in it. But I just need this to fry a little bit more before adding the vegetables. So within three to five minutes, it should be okay. So give it a stir. Some people don't like mushroom in here. <laughs> well, some people love the mushroom. <laughs> there we go. I will be adding that. So just give it a little crack. Don't cover it fully so that it can fry, okay? For about five minutes. Thank you, you says. Okay, so using the same corn too, I want to add a bit of parsnip to this because I just want them length in the fried rice, okay? I've already chopped some already, but this one I want to make them a bit longer, so using corn too. Alright, there we go. So we've got some parsnip and we've got some using salad master corn too. And that's it. Okay, so five minutes is done now. You can see the onions and the mushroom. I like them a bit fried. I don't like them quite wet, but not crispy. So now we just to add the rest of the vegetables. And I'm going to start by adding my carrots in there. All together, because Salad Master, they cook very quick. And it doesn't matter the size, okay? They will all cook at same pace. It doesn't matter as well if it's wet or the dry one. So I put all them ones in there. So what I've done in here is just to add all the seasoning in here. Remember what we showed earlier on? So just give them a stir. And I've added all the vegetables now. 
to the mushroom and the onions so give them a proper stir and allow it to simmer for just about two minutes because you don't want the vegetables to overcook I've got a little water. If I blended my ginger and garlic, that's what I, I would have added with the onions, but I fried them, remember? So using the same salad master pot, I'm just going to add some soy sauce and the rest of the seasoning, just a little. So while we're waiting, I've washed the rice. I'm, I'm using the long grain rice. You can use your basmati rice. You can use any rice of your choice, okay? I'm just waiting for the little water I've added there to warm up and then I'm going to pop the rice and set it on rice too. You don't need to set temperature on rice and I'll show you the rice too. While the vegetable, they're all here, including the mushroom. There we go. Right, so this is beginning to click now and I'm just going to, yeah, remember we have the soy sauce and the rest of the seasoning in there. So I'm just going to pop the rice in here and then set it on rice too. I'm cooking about three and a half cups of rice okay which will be going with those vegetables which you've seen in there so just give it a stir right so there we go and fully close there we go the next thing cancel this and set it on over here top right corner press it twice rice one and rice two second time is rice two and then you can go chillax once it's done then we're going to add those vegetables the last two minutes and give it a proper mix remember we fry the chicken as well that's the chicken all nicely fried earlier on very crispy with no oil look at that okay so we've got a few more minutes to go and let's see Ooh. there we go so the next thing i'm gonna do now is to pop in the vegetable which we earlier on seasoned which is that one the mushroom and the rest of them and then give it a proper stir okay don't worry about the size remember slot master the lid has got a dome shape so put this on and then give it a stir so there we go so i'm putting the vegetable a little at a time the mushroom and the rest of the vegetable just a little at a time and there we go so give this a proper stir and then put the lid on Right, so here's the final look of the Chinese fried rice. Remember, we you can prepare this on its own for vegan, or you can use the fried chicken with fried to chicken crispy with no oil. So it's gonna go with the rice. But here's the final look, and enjoy with us. And thanks for watching. Okay, remember we air fried the chicken in there with no oil, which is optional. Vegans you can do without. Oh, look at that! Oh, looking nice and yummy. So, come on, enjoy with us, and thanks for watching.